What's up guys? So today we are going to talk about how we turned 200,000 into 5 million. That's right. It's a crazy, awesome story and I'm excited to dive into it. We're going to go through all the numbers, what happened. But before we do that, please like, subscribe. Remember, that's the currency of YouTube. So let's appease the YouTube gods. Thanks everybody. Okay, so how we turned 200,000 into really over 5 million. It's an interesting story and I'm really excited to dive in. It shows the power of real estate and especially the power of storage, what we were doing, and we didn't know a lot when we got started. Okay, all right, that's an oversimplification. We didn't know what we were doing at all. Um, we had bought a small storage facility in a really rural town and we had bought it for $665,000. We put down $200,000 on it. Now, it was going okay. It paid off debt. The customers took care of everything. This was a small facility, gravel, drive up, off a road. There was no real operations. It was unmanned and we were remote operating it. It was very far from where we lived. Now, at the end of the day, we decided we don't know where this is gonna go and I think some of our assumptions were wrong. So we sold it and we sold it actually for 40,000 less than we bought it for. But because it paid off debt and everything, we still made a profit, which is great because what happened next was incredible. We took what we learned from that asset and said, here's things doing wrong. And we said, what would make this asset work really well in a, a different place? And this was honestly what really made the money. It was the education that we got from this first deal. We took that 200,000, we found a spot that we said, this has better demographics. We think there'll be larger areas to grow. We could probably up revenue in this area. We 1031 exchange, so we paid no taxes and we rolled it into another facility at 1.4 million and we put $290,000 down after closing costs, everything else. And that came from the amount of debt that had been paid off, plus we had to put in just a little for closing costs, et cetera. But we closed on it at 1.4 million. We worked on it, we turned it around, we got rid of delinquencies, we raised up prices, and it was within the same year that we turned around and sold it for $4 million. We found out things we didn't like about that asset. Things that we said, hey, these strategies would work a lot better in a different scenario. We don't wanna be stagnant. We can get a higher price, we use our money. So we sold that, got a million dollars now out of it. Within a year, 1031 exchanged that million dollars into another facility. Now, this facility was a much larger facility. It cost $4 million. We put $1 million down in it. It was roughly about 65,000 net rentable square feet. Now on this facility, we worked really hard to increase prices. Things didn't go as we thought that they would. There was office space. We lost, lost a bunch of office tenants, which we had to try to make up. And it was the office space was roughly about 10 offices within the storage building. We don't do offices, so we just kind of let them go. Now we made up for that revenue in our rate increases and running the storage facility as well. But we also lost revenue in a U-Haul dealership that was on it, that they had multiple people running it. It was kind of a mess. It didn't make a lot of money, but when you're paying for an asset and you're getting $20,000 in revenue and you're buying it on a cap rate, that's a lot of money. That's hundreds of thousands of dollars of value that we paid that we lost. So we had to make up for those things in our rental process, getting new tenants in, upping the rents, right? And we did that. We came in with our operations. We focused on marketing. We focused on training the manager. At this location, we had a manager. At the other two, we did not. And we really got that revenue up. In fact, we got it up enough to where we could expand the facility. There was an old shop and some vacant land on it. We tore that down. We added another roughly 6,000 square feet of storage, which we knew which units were in high demand. And on that one, we did more of an automation system. So anybody could come and use it at any time of the day. We used a no key touchless technology and we could automate that whole entire portion. And we could charge higher prices for that luxury. So now today, where does it sit? Now, this is all right around a seven year process. Today, we're at 71,000 square feet. The gross monthly revenue alone is at 61,000. That means a year we're making over $740,000 on that property in gross revenue. Our net is right at 490,000. Now remember, our down payment on our original facility was $200,000. This is a year. At that price, even conservatively, that asset is now worth over 8 million. 
So we now have right around $3 million in debt. That's $5 million in equity that we can now use to go and buy tax-free another facility, which we did. Now, I'm not going down that road and I'm not gonna include all of that because then it's not actually 5 million, it's more than that, that that original $200,000 made us. That is incredible. You're talking about almost $800,000 a year, not including all the other assets that we purchase by putting down payments from the equity tax-free from this asset. That is the power of real estate. That is the power of making good decisions when you know that that asset's not going anywhere, don't hold it, cut your losses and take what you learned and use it. Compound your money, but also compound your knowledge. Now, in my book, Growing Wealth and Self Storage, you can get it on Amazon. I explain even more in depth all our operations, which I obviously don't have time to go over in this, but I have a video, Self Storage 101, which is like 20 minutes. It's basically a mini course on self storage investing. You can check that out too. Everybody like, comment, subscribe, and we'll keep putting this information out. Thanks. Before you leave, if you wanna learn more about self-storage, pick up the best-selling self-storage book. That's me. It's the playbook to self-storage. You can pick it up on Amazon, link below. I go over case studies, actual deals done, how to market, how to run, how to find deals, and analyze markets. Check it out.